Shabbat Shalom, Temple Emmanuel. It's an exciting time this week as we celebrate the beauty, the resiliency, and the contributions of our beloved Medinat Yisrael, of the State of Israel. Even in the midst of worldwide terrorism, even in the midst of anti-Semitism that continues to exist and plague our community, Jews, as Hatikva, the national anthem of Israel, teaches us, Jews are the eternal hopers. We hope and we dream that there will be a better time tomorrow. So this weekend on this Shabbat, as we celebrate the beauty and the resiliency of the state of Israel, we have lots for every age group to come to celebrate and to enjoy our beloved state of Israel. On Friday night, beginning at 6 p.m., we have our Tat Shabbat program, as we have not only beautiful music, but we also have a very special project for our kids to participate in. At 7 o'clock, we continue our celebration with our 7 o'clock family service as we welcome in Shirei Hayeladim, our children's choir, as we celebrate our fourth grade students, and as well as we celebrate the incredible contributions of our teachers here at Temple Emmanuel and what they do to contribute to the resiliency and the beauty and the love of our Jewish community as we move forward. The love that we have for our children, our teachers have as well and they help to teach our kids what Jewish pride and Jewish identity are all about. And the beauty of this is that on Friday night, not only do we celebrate Israel, but we welcome to the temple Yaron Seidman, the Consul General of the State of Israel, to our temple. He'll be making remarks at our family service, and then after the family service at 8.15, we have a very special program with the Consul General, along with Rabbi Jack Luxemburg, the Senior Vice President of ARTSA, the Reform Movement Zionist Arm, how we promote and how we care for the State of Israel. It will be a very important discussion on how American Jews connect to the State of Israel, not just politically, because it's very challenging at this time, especially this last week with the disillusion of the peace process between the Israelis and the Palestinians, but also how do we interact, how do we talk about the future of the State of Israel, how do we talk about the connections between American Jews and Israeli Jews, Jews who live in the two major centers of Jewish life in the world today. It's a not to miss evening, it's a very important evening as we come together to celebrate. And on Sunday, we continue to celebrate with the beauty of our own temple, as we have an important thank you to all those who contribute to the ongoing strength of our temple with a Billy Joel band celebrating, and one of the most celebrated Billy Joel bands. We will welcome them to Temple Emmanuel. We'll celebrate together, and we'll make sure that the piano man lives on not only in our hearts and our minds, but in the beauty of Temple Emmanuel itself as the music continues to play on. So there's lots going on this weekend, and certainly Friday night we have an incredible program. Please plan to join us as we celebrate the hope that Israel and our people have always had for this world. Shabbat Shalom.